Hey everyone, my name is Joe. I'm with MLC CAD Systems, and today I'd like to show you a couple of things that I like to do that make programming go a little bit faster in Masterkin by reducing the number of buttons that we have to click within each operation. So right here, as you can see, we have a, a pretty typical part. If I were to take and put a simple tool path on this part, we'll do a flow line on that particular fillet there. <clears throat> and when we accept that, we're going to come down here, we're going to notice a couple things. Under our coolant tab, which in the newer style menus is on the tree, the coolant is defaulted to off. And also when we look under the uh, finished flow line parameters, we can see that our tolerance is set to one and that the tool path filtering down here, the line arc filtering is actually turned off. Well, those are things that you can go through and you can set in each operation. However, there's actually a more efficient and easier way to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out of that without saving it. I'm going to go here into my files tab and right down here where my operation defaults are stored, I'm actually going to edit those defaults. So here within my operation defaults, I'm going to select the entire group of defaults because the first thing that I want to change is actually the coolant setting, which we can change that in something that we call an edit selected operations, edit common parameters. Within this common parameters, what we're going to do is we're going to select the coolant. This is the parameter we want to change. We're going to select flood on, and we'll accept that, and then we'll accept this. So what that's going to do is every time we pull up a new operation, by default, our flood coolant will be set to on. The next thing I want to do is right down here in the surface finish flow line that we were looking at earlier, I actually want to go into the parameters of this, go back to the surface finish flow line parameters, I'm going to change that tolerance to three thousandths. And then inside here, I'm actually going to turn on the arc filter. And let's go ahead and uh, turn on the arcs in all planes. We'll uh, change that slider to approximately there. And we'll go ahead and accept that and accept those changes. And then we'll go ahead and accept that. <clears throat> and one more time. So now what's going to happen when I create that same tool path that I did before, and I select my single surface. Now what we're gonna see is when I come in here, my coolant is defaulted to on, and also on my uh, finished flow line parameters, we now have our total tolerance set, as well as the filter will be on by default in that operation. So I hope this helps you guys, and I look forward to talking to you soon.